I kind of wish it was me. I kind of wish that I did that because I don't know what to do. Now, Tana Stewart didn't want her face shown on camera. She says the victim, 37-year-old Tia Strickland, was her world. The two had been together for five years and were engaged to be married. Stewart says she came home early from work because she was sick. She told her, she told Tia that she loved her, went upstairs and fell asleep. She woke up around 1 a.m. to find smoke filling the bedroom. Stewart says she tried to wake up Tia and her 15-year-old son, Ricky, who were asleep in other parts of the house. I was yelling like Tia, you know what I'm saying, Tia. And then when I went to go open the bedroom door, the smoke hit me and I ran back out because it was so much smoke. It was like as black as the camera smoke. And I jumped out the window. And as I was about to get out the window, I yelled for Ricky, like, Ricky. And he was like, what? I was like a fire. And as I was jumping out, I heard him punch the windows. Now that survivor tells me she was able to get out of the window on the second floor and jump across to her neighbor's roof. Now once she got down, she ran to her house and tried to get inside, but the flames filled that doorway. Now coming up at 6, I talked with the victim's son and brother. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.